Welcome to Kotlin Bytes. In my last episode, I showed you how to create a tic-tac-toe layout for this Android app that we're creating. In this episode, I will show you how to bind these views within Kotlin properly. Let's get started. Okay, we can start by closing our XML files and opening our main activity class. Traditionally in Android, you set an activities layout using set content view. However, a newer, better way to do this allows us to bind these views we set up earlier much more quickly. At the moment, this feature is disabled by default. However, it can be easily enabled by opening your module level build.gradle file. Within the Android scope, add build features view binding equal to true. And then sync now. Once the sync is complete, navigate back to our activity. Create a field variable for activity main binding. The compiler automatically generates this class from our XML layout. Ah, it looks like I forgot to add an ID for the game status text. Let's do that right now. Okay, now we can inflate the main activity binding and set our content view to the binding root view. Then let's create a method to update the board cells. Using the binding instance, we can reference the views we defined within the XML. Notice the ID names are omitting the underscores. That's fine, since they're still referencing the underscored views we've defined. For now, we're going to set the image icon resource for each cell programmatically. The top row will be stars, the second row will be circles, and the bottom row will be just the empty icons for now. We can call this method after setting the content view. Now let's create another method for updating the game status message. Again, we'll be using the binding reference to edit the game status text. Let's test. Perfect. Now let's hide this view. We'll make it visible later on. Let's finally bind our buttons. Let's approach this a little bit differently from the update board cells method. I wanna show you guys a different way to accomplish the same result so that you can choose which is best for you. Let's use the with function to set the binding instance as our primary scope. Now we don't have to write binding anymore. We only need to write the view ID. Whenever the reset button is clicked, let's show a toast message. We will need to define the activity as this instead of the view binding since the activity is also a context. And then we will do the same for all the remaining cells. Let's test it. Notice the status view is gone because we're hiding it. Whenever we click on any of the cells, a toast message now appears, indicating our view binding is working correctly. That's it for this episode of Kotlin Bytes. Stay tuned for the next episode in this series, explaining how to set up a view model to store this game's board state. However, until then, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and consider subscribing. The source code and additional resources are of course in the description below. If there's anything you'd like me to explain in a later video, please message me or leave a comment. Otherwise, have a great day. See ya.